Hi everyone. Today I want to explain in detail the tank problems or derive velocity formula and time formula for the tank. As you see, we have a tank which its diameter is capital D and its head is capital H and the D small is D2. I choose it to point as point 1 and point 2 which are, sub which are subjected to atmospheric pressure and I uh, choose it point to at the same elevation of a datum. Let us derive. The fluid is ideal, so there is no friction and no losses. By Bernoulli equation, we can um, find the relation between point one and point two. Let's apply Bernoulli. From point 1 we have pressure head P1 and elevation head rho 1 GZ1 plus velocity head at point 1 and point 2 we have also pressure head, elevation head and velocity head. And also density is uh, water is incompressible so density at these two points is, is the same so rho 1 equal to rho 2 and we name it as rho. We see that P1 is zero because atmospheric pressure and we have elevation head because the head, we have a water column and velocity one it's not zero but approximately zero. If we uh, calculate it doesn't make any difference so it is zero and P2 is zero atmospheric pressure plus elevation head zero because it's the same level of data and we just have velocity head so by rearranging this relation we can find the formula for velocity which is v2 equal square root of 2gh but I want to uh, examine why we ignore it v1 or not ignore what's happened let us examine if we don't ignore v1 the relation will be like this Okay, the row we can the row cancel each other, and the relation will be two gh equal to v two square minus v one square. That's the equation one. By continuity equation, we can find the relation between uh, v one and v two. That is the continuity equation. V one multiply a one, v two is equal to v two multiply a two. Then a one equal to point twenty five pi capital D square and a2 equal to 0.25 pi d2 square as we see 0.25 pi and 0.25 pi cancel each other so v1 equal to v2, v2 multiply d2 square over capital D that's equation as this, we can uh, put this v1 into equation 1 okay the relation will be 2gh equal to v2 square minus v2 multiply d2 square over d capital D square all uh, square so that's the relation and for more simplification we can take out the v2 it will be v2 2gh equal to v2 square 1 minus d2 to the power 4 over capital D to the power 4 so we can ignore if d capital D much greater than D2 if capital D greater than D2 10 times for example capital D 1 meter and D2 0.1 let us evaluate 1 minus D2 to the power 4 divide capital D to the power 4 put the values for capital D and for D2 and then it will be 1 minus 0 0.001 over 1 and the result will be 0 0.9999 which approximately equal to 1 that's why we ignore it v1 you see that it doesn't make any difference if we calculate for v1 that's just in case of capital D much more greater than d2 that is the same uh, result v2 equal to square root of 2gh now uh, 
um, let this uh, derive for time how we can find time formula for the tank as we see v1 equal to minus dz over dt that is z axis so the water in the direction of z but why we put minus because according to time uh, z, z is decreased so it will be minus and v1 equal to v2 as uh, the previous relation which we derived from continuity equation so minus dz over dt equal to v2 multiplied d2 square over capital d square and also v2 equal to do gz instead of h we use it that in the same direction with h okay then by rearranging and more simplification we can the relation will be minus dz over square root 2 gz multiply capital D over d2 squared equal to dt by integration this relation we can easily find the formula 40 but first we need some simplification we can take out constants from inside the integration and to remove negative sign we just reciprocal the boundaries from h capital h to 0 to 0 to capital h let's see i just take it out the constants from uh, inside uh, integration and by reciprocal the boundary i remove it uh, the negative sign equal to integration of dt that is the relation okay here i just uh, change it 1 over square root of z2 z to the power minus 0 0.5 it is the same it doesn't make any difference integration integration of this path will be z to the power minus 0 0.5 plus 1 over 0 0.5 and the integration of t will be e dt will be t you just i want i uh, change it t from right hand side to uh, left hand side and put the boundaries the boundary will be t capital t minus zero that's i put the boundaries okay uh, and here the boundary will be capital h minus two two multiply square root of h minus two multiply square root of zero so that is the final formula which we derive it for time time equal to d or capital d over d2 square multiply square root 2 over g multiply square root of capital h let us uh, solve an example for better understanding if we have this tank in the tank we have a diameter of the tank which is equal to 2 meter and height of the tank 3 meter d small 0.1 meter we have to find velocity when the tank is full and we have to find time first to empty the tank all water in the tank discharged and the second one half of water to be discharged find the time and how and or how much it uh, take to uh, empty half of water in the tank let's solve that's the given just apply velocity equal to 2g square root 2gh and put the values for g and h which g is acceleration which equal 9.81 and capital h is the height so the velocity when the tanks fall is equal 7.67 meter per second and finding the time when the tank fully discharge relation is this as we derived it before just put the value for capital d and small d and for capital H the time will be 312.82 seconds which equal 5.21 minutes for half of water discharge or height of water is a tank will be 1.5 that is the time this much of water is drained so how much it take to this, this volume be drained be careful where where is the tank 
some volume of tank remain it we have to put the here is the head a photo which is remain it so just uh, put uh, the values for capital H and uh, small h you can easily find how much time is it takes it takes 90.1 91.62 seconds if we make a note we see that for the first half of water drainage just in 91.62 seconds while uh, for discharging the full of water it takes 312.82 which is much higher than 91.62 what is the reason behind this at here the head of water is too much so the velocity is high but when water comes to this elevation 1.5 the velocity decrease too much that is why it takes too much time let's find the relation between velocity and head and we look at the relation how it change with the change of head how change velocity with change of head that's the given uh, capital d2 meter d small 1.1 and h 3 meter delta h 0.1 so here's 3 and here we have to write the formula which is called two, uh, 3 not 3 sorry here minus delta h we have to fix this one okay and uh, head velocity equal to square root square root 2 multiply 9.81 multiply h okay 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 drag did it just zero zero okay that's it that's velocity let this plot insert plot this one y oh sorry insert okay select it data hit the s velocity I use velocity as x axis and head as y axis. If we look at the relation, it's not linear, and we see that from 3 to 1.5, it's almost it's almost linear, and from 1.5. 5.42 it's almost mm, 2.5 changing but from 1.5 to 0 the change how much it's too much from 5.42 to 0 that's why we see change in head at 1.5 it's it causes too much change in velocity that is all If you have any question or misunderstanding, you just leave a comment, I will answer. Have a nice time.